Welcome to Cooking from the Cave. It's Sunday morning and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy breakfast pastry called a scone. This is a uh, very simple recipe my son loves and it's something you can get done in a matter of 45 minutes from start to finish. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get your food processor and we're going to incorporate all of our dried ingredients. I have them already measured out for us. It's going to be uh, a cup and a half of whole wheat flour, a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, half cup of sugar, this is regular granulated sugar, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon and a half of uh, baking powder, and we're just going to pulse these so that they're evenly combined. And scones are great because once you get the batter done, you can put any sort of ingredients in it you want. Uh, we've discussed making some cinnamon scones in the past, some uh, berry scones too work very good. That's perfect for adults too, it goes great with coffee. The next step we're going to do is we're going to incorporate our butter. And the butter has to be cubed up and it also has to be very, very cold. So we're going to go over to our freezer, pull these out, and when I talk about cubed, see how they're nice, small little dice? We're going to just drop those in kind of work fast. Don't let your hands warm up the butter so it starts to melt prematurely. And I'm just going to space these out throughout my flour mixture so that pulsing it up makes it much easier and faster. Put the lid back on. And what I'm looking for is almost as if it's like small pea sized pieces of flour and butter mixed together. Almost very coarse sand. Alright, we've pulsed our dough about 30 times now and you're going to get this coarse mixture. Any irregularities in here is fine. Um, at this point we can start to add our wet ingredients. Our eggs and our cream are now mixed together. We're now going to fold in our flour. And you're going to probably want to turn from having your uh, whisks to a spatula. I think at this point it's easier. And don't over mix it. Just until everything is evenly combined. Alright, so now we're going to get our hands in here. We're going to give it a couple of kneads just to combine everything. The spatula doesn't do a good job of grabbing all the, all the ingredients that are on the side, so get your hands in there. We're going to dump our uh, chocolate chips in. And I'm just going to really just kind of fold everything over. If you're noticing your dough is a little bit dry, you can incorporate a little bit more uh, heavy cream into this if you want to, or even a little bit uh, more butter. But really, this is looking fairly good, and from here we're going to scoop it out and make our scones. Alright, so now we're going to use our ice cream scooper. This is a fairly large scoop. You could also shape these by hand if you want. I'm going to spray it down once with Pam, and I'm going to scoop this, these scones onto a uh, parchment lined sheet tray, or I use a silt pad. And yes, I've never washed a silt pad, and yes, you can tell. So. Um, the key with this thing is that it is a non-stick, reusable parchment paper that um, is great for baking almost anything on. But we're going to scoop these out. They might be a little bit irregular shaped and everything, but we're going to try and get eight of them out of this. I'm making these kind of large, so we might only get six, but you're going to average somewhere between six and eight if you do the large scoops, and then um, even get... Uh, if you use smaller, you could get more, maybe a dozen, maybe 18. And we'll just keep scooping these till we run out of dough. All right, so I actually got nine out of here, and all, all I'll do is I'll walk around, I'll just kind of give them a slight little push to flatten them. And the last thing to do to give it that nice glaze, that really nice color on top, I have an egg wash mixture here. This is a one egg. A little bit of heavy cream whipped up. 
And we're just going to brush the tops of these and we'll put them in the oven at 375. Egg wash is on. We're going to go into our oven and we'll check it in about 15 minutes. All right, uh, it's been about 22, 24 minutes now. The scones are done. If you do make them larger like mine, they may go up to that 24, 25 minute mark. Um, what you're looking for though is nice coloring on top. That's from that glaze that we did. And also just kind of lightly feel them. They're going to be hot, so be careful, but just feel and make sure they're, um, they're, they're solid. There's not any uh, soft softness to them or anything like that. And then let them cool for about five minutes now, and then we'll scoop them in and we'll plate them up for the family. All right, so we're going to plate these up. Obviously, you could dust them with some uh, powdered sugar. But I'm going to flip one over so you can look at the bottom as well. And you see how nice and golden brown the bottom is? That's perfect. That's what you want. You want a good base, something that people can really sink their teeth into. I'm going to flip it over. The chocolate is still hot, but um, flip it back over. And we'll plate them up. And again, in a matter of 45 minutes, on a nice, easy Sunday morning, we got breakfast, a little coffee, OJ. Thanks for joining Cooking from the Cave. I'm Chef Pete Truziak. Have a wonderful Sunday.